Okay, in this video I want to talk about MPV, which I think is a great piece of software. It's a media player, it can play videos, uh, animated images, audio files. It has a very wide array of things it can support, but it's also very minimal, but at the same time very powerful. Of course, it's free as in freedom, has lots of features. If we look at the GitHub repository, we can see it's written in C, so it'll be optimized and fast and cross-compatible. But it also has some Lua, so you can write your own scripts for custom functionality. Um, I'll show what it looks like. I can run MPV on any GIF. Uh, it'll just play as you would expect, or here's another. German. We can also run a audio file. It will have the same keybinds and everything, uh, and it'll just show in this minimal uh, interface. You don't even need the graphics at that point. And of course, if we were to run any video, This would also run as expected. If they're embedded the subtitles, you can switch between those. And it's not just confined to things that you need, that you have locally on your device. You can also run things from other web pages. Uh, if we take a look at YouTube, here's some cringe on the front page. Let's just choose a random video. Uh, I'll just choose the first one, because why not? We can... I actually have a keybind set up in my web browser, Qt browser, to automatically open it. But we don't even need to use the YouTube uh, built-in client. We can just stream it directly from MPV. And you're not limited to the functionalities that are built into the YouTube browser, you can do anything uh, with this. Something I often do is the speed adjustment. So if you use the brackets, you, you can see it's changing the speed up here. You can make it very fast. It goes up to 100 times, but you can also slow it down a bunch too. And you can also use the curly braces to double or half it which I find very helpful. And similarly to Vim, basically every uh, button on the key, every key on the keyboard is a shortcut to something. So you can do F for full screen. All the numbers, I'll bring this up, all numbers do different things, like you can change the contrast uh, or brightness or whatever. Um, now, of course, you could run this from an RSS feed or anything and not even need to directly connect to the YouTube web page. Um, I mentioned you can write scripts. The It's very customizable. So you can look at the configuration file. The default one has a bunch of different options, which I've commented out. Um, one thing I do have is a thing that will just restrict the video to only play at a maximum resolution that my screen is at, 1080p, so that it's not wasting system resources trying to do it at a higher resolution. And there are actually a lot of MPV plugins, so you can have something that previews things as you go along in the video, if you want to add that and you could have things that automatically download subtitles. There are lots of different uh, modular extensions for MPV. It's very useful. Now, another thing that I do with MPV, um, I actually host, instead of like having a web server that has like a built-in thing, like Jellyfin did, which I used for a while uh, before it um, sort of broke, 
Right now I just have an Apache web server and we can just look at any video uh, and you can just run it with MPV and stream it directly from the web page without any need for any other bloat. Of course you can copy the link address and run it in the terminal. Uh, do this with any link or anything, any like reference to a file. Now, of course, this in the command line, this doesn't really have any graphical interface. I don't know. It doesn't seem like MPV and the Arch Linux repos have this by default. But when I used on Linux Mint and also like the Windows builds, uh, it asks you to drag and drop a file, which works the same way. You can just do that. Um, and there are also many different forks, like uh, mpv.net, not actually at the website, mpv.net. And this will add, for example, graphical context menus. It's built on the .net framework. In conclusion, you should get MPV. It's really great.